Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today we're going to be drawing a really cool watercolor sunflower. I thought it would be fun to show you guys a time-lapse version of the video first so you can see what we're about to draw and paint. So the whole drawing and painting is going to take about 45 minutes and it's super fun. So I hope you can get your supplies ready and join us for this fun, awesome drawing. We're going to start with a Sharpie pen, like the ultra fine tip ones. And if you don't have that, you can use it as a regular pen. Just know that it might bleed a little bit. But we're using watercolor paper too, which is thicker and it won't ruin the paper when we put watercolor on it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to start with is some of the petals. And so with sunflower petals, they're not perfectly shaped. Some of them are shaped like this and they overlap each other. And then you can come down here and make a wider one. Comes to a point and then comes back down to just there. And then this one comes up. And this one kind of curves a little bit. You know how petals sometimes curve? Do that one like that. This one kind of makes that shape out and over and down. And then this one comes up from behind, comes to a point, and then goes down. So this is kind of cool. So this petal comes and just meets up right next to it and then over and then it kind of goes up and down Good. then there's a pedal behind it that goes up and then jagged down behind so then you're going to make just a little line like this mm -hmm. and then you're going to make another pedal that comes in front comes to a point, and curves back and around and in. Very good. And then we're going to start down here and come out and down. And then come back up in. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to leave kind of a triangular space right here. This is all black right here. And then we're going to create a petal over here. It comes to a point and then it comes back in. Very good. Okay, and then right next to this one, we're making another one that goes out and up and then comes back down. Okay, and then right here, we're going to leave kind of a, a dead space again. See this dead space? You can see this little curve right behind. And then this curve goes right next to it, and then we'll stop right there. Good, and then right here, we're going to go up a little, I mean down a little bit, and then over, and then curve it in like that. And then we're going to do the other side in just a second. Right now we're going to do this petal that's in front of it, because you can see all of this petal. And then this one goes behind. And then there's a little dead spot right here where it's just black. And then this goes out and up. And then like a little triangular shape there and here. And mine now meets up, 
but if yours doesn't, then just add another petal in. And then you can kind of see where some of these, you want another petal back here in between. And then you'll want another petal right here next to it. And then another petal back here. And one right here too. Because there's lots of layers of petals. And then this one right here at the bottom in the center goes down. And this one has some shadows on it. And you can do some shadows with your pen. And this one has some shadows too, where you can just bring it out. And then this needs to be shadowed right here, this little triangle. All right, and now we can start making our circle. And you just wanna do kind of like little bumpy marks going around. It doesn't have to be a perfect oval or a perfect circle. And then you can do like little polka dots within it, like this. Like that. And I want mine to be a little more circular, so I'm going to come down into this a little bit. And just do some of my shadow down here. And then up here I'm going to add some more petals behind, like here and here. Then I could do like a petal right there. Cool. So now we're going to do a darker shadow that's this shape. And so using pointillism, <laughs> You can just draw little dots. So you're just gonna be doing like a few random dots out in this part of it. But right here, you really wanna fill it in dark in this center part. And you can add some cross hatching if you want. Cross hatching? That's where you do lines that cross each other. But you don't have to. All right, so we'll do the rest with painting in a little bit. For now, we wanna add some leaves and turn it into kind of a bouquet. Okay. All right, so here's a leaf. You go out and then down like that and then you come back up and over and a little point and then you come back and up and then you're gonna have a little line in the middle okay so that all right, so that's one of your leaves. And then down here, we're gonna do another leaf. It comes down and then to a point and then comes back up to right there. And this one has kind of a cool design. So you draw a line down the middle and then you can draw these little kind of roundish shapes. All right, and now we're gonna draw another leaf right next to it. And actually, so the leaf will cross with a different leaf <coughs> over here, okay? Mm -hmm. So you'll have this leaf come out over here and then up and behind. So here's one leaf. You can put the line in it so you know it's a leaf. And then down here is another leaf. It comes down. 
so there's a line. So then there's another leaf up here near the top. If you don't have room at the very top, have it be off to the side a little bit. That's what I'll have to do too. So we're going to do kind of a line like that. And then it's going to curve out and up and then over to a point. Then it's going to come back down. And it's going to make this shape out that way. And then it's going to taper back over and join up with that. Mm -hmm. And then you can do a line down the middle and then little veins for the leaves. And then from this line, continue it out like that. And then you can add some smaller little leaves next to it. Like this. You can add another little leaf there. I'm going to add a slightly bigger than that other leaf makes this shape, and then it comes to a point, down, another little point there, all right, and then that line there, and then it comes from behind. Nice. All right, so now we can draw some of the little sprigs of something, I don't know what, berries where you draw a little circle and then two little lines coming out and other little circles. And then another circle and just a line down. And some of the circles don't even necessarily have to be connected to anything. They can just be floating if you want. And I want to put some down here. And one right here. Okay, and now we need the stem coming down. So just go behind the berries if you put any there. And go to a point and then bring it down next to it. And then you're gonna have this cut edge like that. Very nice. So we can also add some kind of background flowers, which you just make these little petals that can just be random wonky long cylinders, I guess you could say, or ovals. And they come up out of the, the flower bud. Like that. You could make your hand tight and make it shaky so it's all wonky. Yeah. If you're a neat drawer. Or Two. Artist. You can also draw one over here that's upside down. So you can use whatever color, watercolors you have. And you don't even have to use watercolors. You can also use uh, colored pencils. But this is what we're going to use. So with watercolors, you want to start with your lightest colors first. And so for this, we're going to have our yellows be our lightest color. And just do it like a wash. And if you want to, a wash is where it's just spread it. We're just spreading the yellow throughout all of these. And the only one I'm not going to have any yellow spread the whole way is down here where there's kind of a highlight. So we're just going to spread out our yellow all throughout. 
Make sure to get lots of water on your brush, but not too much. And if that bright, if that's too bright yellow, you can add a little of the tan yellow too. You need to get up to that yellows up there and spread it before it dries up here. There you go. Good. Now just get it into those corners and then we can move on to the next thing. So now we can get a little bit of orange and we're just going to be doing these edges. Mm -hmm. A little orange right here. And you can do just little, little streaks of it in these petals. It's almost a reddish orange. And you especially want it in some of these background petals. And then like these background ones, you definitely want it in. Then you can get your brush wet. Kind of clean it off a little bit and you can spread some of these more if they have a defined line like mine do. And that kind of blends them if you use a clean brush. It's like a clean somewhat wet brush. And that's how I'm blending them. And now I'm wanting to get like a darker yellowish, tannish to come back in with some of these. And inside of here, there's also some color. So you can bring in some tan, tannish yellow in here. There's even a bit of orange in here. All right, now I want a little bit more orange. Yeah, so we want a little bit of orange in there. Did you get any orange in there? Orange and yellow and tan. Yeah, I just want some more oranges along this edge.
So we're working from light to darker. And that's, that's how we're building the values. All right, so now we need to get a tannish brown. And we're gonna be filling in this area. colors here. It's a very vibrant place. And we need some actual brown. We might need to mix some black into that. And then you can kind of fill in this darker area with that. sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of kind of a brown, this leaf down here is more on the brown spectrum. Just kind of a light color of brown. Let's get like perfect. That looks great. And then if you want to fill it in with something a little darker, you can, you don't have to like in these little areas. That is totally up to you. So what and what darker areas? These little roundish areas. You can fill them in a little darker, but you don't have to. With a little bit more pigment on your brush. Less water, more pigment. So drier? Mm -hmm. A little drier and a little more actual colors. Awesome. And then the rest of the leaves are more green except for that little one right there, yeah. And you don't want it like a vibrant green, you still want it to be these greens that we see in the fall, you know. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. And then, yeah, this is like a kind of a foresty green along here. some of that green for the stem. While I've got green on my brush, I'm going to add it to these two spots where there's the flower bud. Okay. We're almost done. Okay, so now we just need to do kind of a yellowish fall leaf color up here. 
square. So it makes a little yellow and a little orange for these leaves up here. Same goes for these little flowers coming off on the side. The nice light yellow. And then you can add like a little bit of orange right at the, the base of them. That looks nice. I like those colors. And then yeah, these two little leaves are also the fall colors. Right here at the base, I'm going to put a little of the darker orange so that I can get a different color as it goes up. And then over here, I'm going to add a little bit more red back in for a few of these berries. I don't want them all this reddish orange, just some of them. Because some of them are going to be yellow. I'm just going to add a little bit more dark into this. Oh, yeah. All right. That's cool. Well, that looks so good. I'm so glad that you we're willing to paint this sunflower with me and I hope you guys had fun drawing yours too. I'd love to see how yours turns out. And so if you want to send me a picture of it, that would be great. You can send it on Instagram. I'm at Sarah Hatch Art Studio. And then also make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Bye.